What's up, what's up? It's your boy D-Lo Fit. You already know, health is wealth. Back with another YouTube video. Today's video is about your mental health and social media. Now, I just gotta say this, y'all. After my last video, talking about positive influences and things in your life that can lead you down the right way or lead you down the wrong way or just control your thoughts and control your actions, I'm living by my own word. I'm not gonna tell you nothing that I'm not doing or I'm not gonna do. So with that being said, man, yesterday, and I've done this before, but I did it again yesterday, just cause I was in that mood to do it. I unfollowed a lot of people on social media. And by a lot, I mean, maybe about a hundred people. I mean, I still got about 700 people that I'm following, but let me explain to you the reasons why I did that anyways. This go around, I just went back and I unfollowed everybody or every page that wasn't something that I necessarily wanted to see or felt like I needed to consume. If it's not workout videos, cooking stuff, um, funny stuff, informational stuff, if it's not anything that I can truly benefit from or something that I truly want to see, unfollow. And that's just what it is. At the end of the day, why do you go on Instagram? Why do you spend your time scrolling up and down? You're looking at things. So if you're going to go on there to look at things, why not choose what you want to look at? Why not dictate what you consume that's actually going to affect your life, going to affect how you view things, how you view yourself, and how you go about your day? And I understand that some people they just go on Instagram to post pictures. They just want to, that's, you know, that's what it was originally made for pictures and videos. And then it slowly started turning into other things. And it's for my benefit that those other things happen. You know, I don't want to go on Instagram and just see a bunch of selfies of people and stuff like that. I want to see stuff that's going to motivate me. So I did, you know, keep the people that I actually know even though they might not post nothing or they might not post, you know, things that I find motivational just to keep that contact, you know. But besides that, I pretty much unfollowed. I wasn't about to go through everybody, but just going through unfollowing the pages that I know, it's not gonna benefit me. You know, the people that's not really posting anything at all or the people that's posting stuff that I just don't find useful. So with that being said, I just want to encourage you to put your mental health first and don't feel bad about it. You know, I wasn't doing this because, you know, I felt some type of way towards certain people or, you know, anything like that. Some of the people I didn't even know. Who are you? Even celebrities, certain celebrities that I follow. I don't follow them. It's like, yeah, they celebrities and I probably just follow them like, oh, such and such follow. But if they're not posting anything that I find is relevant to my life, anything that I can pull from to help me get better or view things in a certain way or something that just gonna make me feel good, something funny or something like that, there's no reason for me to follow them. I don't care who it is. So I just wanna encourage you to put your mental health first. You, If you wanna do certain things to help you feel better about yourself, to help you feel a certain way or do certain things and improve in your life, make that choice, take action. Do what you got to do. If you got to cut certain things off, if you got to cut certain people off, do it. And don't feel bad about it because at the end of the day, it's you. At the end of the day, it's your life. At the end of the day, you have to make choices for yourself. You can't be in a certain situation or do certain things because of other people and then feel bad about it. You know, you can't make decisions for yourself to better yourself and then feel bad about it. That's just putting you in a whole cubicle. It's keeping you caged up when you can just do what you want to do to benefit yourself and not care about what anybody says or thinks. That's true freedom. So you got to take whatever steps you got to take. And this is one of the steps that I have to take. How many people, you know, take social media breaks, take social media detoxes? What's the whole point of that? It's to get away from 
the toxicity of social media. Nobody does a detox for something that's positively helping them all the time. You don't take detoxes from eating healthy. You, you take detoxes from the unhealthy eating. You do a detox with healthy foods. You don't do a detox from healthy foods and start eating unhealthy. You detox the bad stuff and replace it with the good stuff. So people take social media detoxes to get off the toxic social media, the toxic, you know, behavior of social media to replace it with real life stuff, you know, productive stuff. And that's what it is. And the biggest step to putting your mental health first is acknowledging what you need to do. That's just the first step. That's the biggest step that most people just push to the side or don't even recognize. It's to actually, you know, examine your life, examine your habits, examine, you know, certain things about yourself to truly know what you need to do, to truly know what you need to break away from, what you need to, you know, change and switch up. Because the way things are in this world, everything is like this. Everything is super fast. Everything is super convenient. And a lot of times people can develop mental health issues or have the issues that they don't even know about because everything is so, and then, you know, these problems come up and you're like, whoa, where this come from? But it's been, you know, within you the whole time. But you got to slow down and really be self-aware and self-conscious of your habits, you know, of your thinking, your mindset, everything. So you can truly, you know, break away from the things that might be holding you back. Who knows? You might want to do the same thing. You might be on Instagram full of toxic stuff. You might need to go ahead and delete some folks. You might need to go ahead and unfollow some pages. That's not giving you anything to benefit you. And you might see a change in your life. And I just want to end with this quote. You don't owe anybody anything, but you owe yourself everything. So go get it.